Hi, Katrina here from Katrina Clayton Building and Food Forest in Scotland. Today we're going to be looking at how we sow our sweet corn. We sow ours in these great big trays. These are just the ones that you slip under the bed. I'm sure it's just from Ikea, it comes with a lid, which is ideal for planting sweet corn in. So this is our base tray that we use, even on a bigger scale. And then that is what we used to plant in. So let's take a look, shall we? So this is how we use these. We just undo the flaps, top and bottom. Take some air out flatten it down and then we cut straight across top and bottom giving us these sleeves so this is Clayton last year filling up all of the little sleeves that we've made out of these milk cartons and you can see that he is now starting to put in the sweet corn seeds he puts in one in each each one and he is a real dab hand at doing this now he uses his little dibber and you can see he held that there so he knew exactly which one his next one was so he uses dibber pops in the seed and then covers the soil back over he absolutely loves doing any seed sowing at all watering them all in and they stay in our cold frame outside that we made out of some shower curtains and an old bed frame and some pallets last year. You can see it just off the side. So it sits in there and at about six weeks time, when the, the sweet corn has got to about eight inches tall, that's when we start thinking about planting it out. We only water these once a week and when we go to plant them out, we make sure that they have not been watered. So they are very dry, otherwise you cannot get the sleeves off. So to put them in, these go straight in our raised beds. So to put them in, you make like a little shallow trough kind of thing so that you can pop them straight into. It's basically just so they don't fall over as you're putting them in. And because you've left them to dry underneath, you just pop a little trowel underneath and move them from that big container into your raised bed or wherever you're putting them. We put them in these rows like this. We leave a space to add soil in between so that they're not growing too, you can see those roots on those, that was amazing. So they're not growing too close together. This works out perfectly for us. And then this is where the magic happens. It means that you can just slide the covers off and it is so easy to do. Clayton really enjoys this part because he knows exactly how it works, what's going on. He gives it a little wiggle and they come off straight away. These just get folded up afterwards and used again the following year. But look how easy this is. Clayton is now not touching the roots. He is not disturbing anything at all with these sweet corn that have grown. And they are already dug in, in the, in the raised bed, ready to grow. So the last thing I do is I just go round them all and I just push them down, making sure that they are secure so they're not going to fall over and that's it we've got chives in there and some nasturtiums just for pest control everything's in lovely neat rows water it in and let them grow they work so well so this is an adaptable way of growing and sowing and planting your sweet corn